So I might have bought a 3D printer and had to start making bike tools. All right, so we're just getting started with this tool design thing, and there's a lot that's kind of in the works that we will eventually talk about. Uh, main ones I want to go over today, though, are these nipple shuffle boxes and these adapters to let you use NV style inverted nipples. Um, basically, what these do is speed up the lacing process for you. Um, basically, you will dump poke nipples in, shake it. Preferably not so hard that I like I did where you drop everything and then it gives you a nice platform to pick spoke nipples out of um, That way you can do it one-handed rather than the old method, which is two hands that Small thing, but it makes a big difference as far as speed goes um, This designs nothing really new. Uh, this is just our version of it. We think it's one of the better on the market um, What I was using previously was this big thing. Um, made it with a hacksaw and pieces of wood trim that was laying around the house. Um, it worked, it wasn't pretty, took up a lot of bench space. I like the new version better. All right, so the least intuitive of these tools is definitely the adapter for Envy style inverted nipples. Um, basically, if you were to use a traditional nipple shuffle box, pluck it out, the wrong end of the spoke nipple is pointing down probably won't focus on that. Um, so these don't really help you with lacing Envy nipples. Um, we don't do a ton of them, but we do enough that it's nice to speed that process up. So basically this guy just gets thrown on top of here, shake it up. Now you can use a tool like the EVT mall finger, pluck them out, lace them on the way you need to with inverted style nipples and lace it like normal it saves a whole lot of time really simple tools makes life a whole lot easier but yeah we went through some design changes accidentally made one way too small just looking at the shape and not the dimensions uh, then moved on to this guy which as you can see there's no backing on it um, this was too flexy the little ribs spread apart when you try to pluck them out um, it'd work if you're gentle but I these tools are built built for shop guys and shop guys are not gentle with tools. Um, so then added the base to it, stiffens things up significantly, um, makes it work a little bit better. Um, yeah, if you like these, check them out in our store. Uh, and um, currently it's under bikemechanictools.com. I'll be transitioning everything just to my main website, elevationwheelcompany.com. Uh, the old bike mechanic tools will just forward to that if you type that in. Um, but yeah, we can customize them. We can put whatever text, simple logos on the side. It is 3D printing, so some details don't always show up that great. Let's see if it'll focus. But we're hoping to sell these to BTI, which is why there's a BTI box. Uh, they're getting a sample here next week. Um, but yeah, happy to customize them however you want. We can change the color to whatever you want. Uh, within options for 3D printer filament, which is just about everything out there. Um, then, then make sure to get you like an EVT mall finger or something similar to actually pluck the spokes out and you will save an awful lot of time in lacing wheels. One thing we will do is we want to do a giveaway on one of these. So if you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below at the end of January, we will pick out a winner and send them a free one. Uh, I'll give you the option to customize it if you want to, um, but it should be a fun way to get people engaged a little bit. Uh, working on some other tools, some other fun stuff. Might be working on a motorcycle hub. Um, that'll be out of metal, not 3D printer. Uh, some fork seal tools. A um, handful of other things that we want to do in the future. Uh, so definitely keep in touch, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, whenever we come up with something we think is fun, we'll make sure to do a video on it. Uh, if you've got any requests, leave them in the comment below. Uh, we're always happy to make tools if it's within our ability. We will probably be happy to entertain it. Um, and if, if it's an idea we like and we make one, we'll definitely send you one of the samples as a thank you for the idea. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys watching.